Welcome back. We're talking about all things love, and we know that love always begins with the source within. So we're honored to have Erin Yari here today yeah. to talk about intuitive healing, sound bath, crystal healing, Reiki, all the above. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. We That's needed cool. you. We should have had you first thing so we could just set the tone for yeah. everything here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Balance out the energy. I'd, I'd love to know more about what your journey was in, in discovering self-love. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's always a work in progress still today. Um, I think there's a misconception that you're doing healing work, you're healed, you're, you know, your love life is great, your friendships are great, and yes, they are, um, but it's always a work in progress. So my journey has really been um, focusing on staying centered and staying in this heart space, right? And reconnecting and finding that inner truth um, and keeping it real just keeping myself real and so that I can extend it and give it and share it. Is that difficult for you to do in Los Angeles? I know, you know, we've, we've talked about that a lot, being able to be grounded yeah. in La La Land. That's a huge task. It is a huge task. I, I like to say I didn't choose LA, LA chose me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, LA awesome. needs me. <laughs> we do need you. Yeah. <laughs> LA needs this work. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it's a challenge, but it's, again, it just, it's about staying centered. Mm -hmm. And um, the crystals are an amazing tool. Right. Um, I almost always have one in my hand. What's that? This one is clear quartz. So clear quartz. May I? Yeah. It's um, beautiful. Yeah. This one is special because it's got points on both ends. So for something like today where like I'm a little out of my comfort zone, I'll hang on to this one so that um, in a room full of different energies, they're kind of going through. Mm -hmm. Nothing's wow. gonna land and stick with me. Oh, and it that. keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll swallow that. You're a you are spinning around. around. Letting out your crystal out. for a minute. Awesome. Yes. So take us through some of there. this. So when you're, you know, you work with, of course, uh, you know, sound bowls, crystals, um, you know, intuitive healing. Talk, take us through some of it. Yeah, so this is a crystal sound bowl. Um, usually there's many of them when I do my sound baths, um, amongst other. Um, sound instruments. I did bring the Koshi chime. So sound healing is wonderful. I say it's my favorite form of meditation because a lot of times clients and people will come to me and say, I can't meditate. I can't be still. It's just there's too much going on. Well, that's why they need meditation, but I hear it. Um, let's do it. Come on. Let's yeah, do but yeah. sound, sound meditation is great time. because you don't focus on the work of meditation. You just focus on the sound and it's beautiful. What it does is it penetrates our subtle body. It penetrates our energetic field, and it's healing. Um, and while we get to lie back and take a nap and relax and enjoy the sound of it, it's doing a lot of deep healing work for us. Mm -hmm. And the chime is great also. It gives a really angelic, right? Very soft and sweet. And then if you get a little closer, it gives a deeper, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the instruments I'll use in the sound baths. And then the crystals I use um, in my women's circles and in my one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients. We'll do gritting. Um, we'll see which crystals are calling to them and which ones will benefit them and whatever's going on. You said doing gritting. What is that exactly? Crystal gritting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll use multiple crystals. Um, you know, you can use clear quartz and rose quartz together. Um, rose quartz is all about love and the heart mm -hmm. center and universal peace and really building and growing that love from within so that it can extend without. And clear quartz is an amplifier. So placing, for instance, this rose quartz sphere and a bunch of these clear quartz around it, that's making a nice love grid, right? You're activating that energy. Oh, should and I just sleep with that on me? You can. Or do I? You can. Yeah, really? I have beds now that have yeah. crystals in the beds, and there's I so many. I keep selenite things. next to my bed at the end of a long, busy day with my little ones. I will place not this big, Mama, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, something a little smaller and appropriate. I will place it on my chest to just sort of clear away that energy of the day. Um, so tell so me about the um, you know shamanistic rituals with the yeah. with the feathers. Yeah. So. Um, 
The feathers I use a lot when I do space clearing. Uh, I'll use sage, I'll use Palo Santo, sweetgrass, a um, number of other things also, but sage is the pretty popular one these days. Um, so we light it, uh, we allow the smoke to envelop ourselves and the space, and the feathers um, are symbolism. It's a symbolism of um, the air element and um, something bigger than us. Mm -hmm. right? Speaking of that, and I love that, I know that trust is very important to you. Mm -hmm. And I noticed the Maya intent bracelet, which yes. we all love. I don't have mine on today, yeah. but what role does trust play in healing? Yeah, there's a lot of trust in healing, right? A lot. Yeah. Um, for me, the word trust comes in big time. Um, it's about trusting myself, right? And, and that's what I try to help all of my clients and um, people that come to me and ask me this. It's really about empowering each person to find their inner healer. Mm -hmm. Um, some people will say, wow, this is such a gift. And I tell them, no, it's not. We all, we all have this, right? And it's trusting that. It's trusting that inner voice. And it's trusting that feeling that you get that, that truth that's inside of you, that gut feeling. You know, it's labeled and um, masked in different words and terms, but it really is all the same thing. It's mm -hmm. that inner guidance, that intuitive feeling, um, and trusting that and, and allowing that to shape your life and shape your surroundings. Mm. I love that. Mm. What brought you to this place of being a healer? Yeah. So anybody I've, in particular or anything in particular? Um, I do have a lot of mentors and teachers. I, I've always been very intuitive. Um, I like to say I came out of the spiritual healing closet a couple of years ago. <laughs> um, you know, it's really something that's bigger than me. Mm. Um, but my purpose and my place in it is to, like I said, help people find it in them also and keep it real. Yeah. Just keep love it real, love authentic. You, mm -hmm. yeah. I love how you spoke about also the being a, a teacher in the spiritual realm that we have, that people are supposed to be perfect. And I think it goes mm -hmm. back to our last interview, like around, um, you know, that anytime we have a mentor or someone that we think is so great, we put them on a pedestal. It just yeah. is, it's not, you know, it's just not yeah. the truth. And yeah. any teacher that's teaching having people think they need them for mm. to do the spiritual watch work. Out for watch those. out. Yeah. Watch so thank you so those. much for saying that. We're all here human still in the school of life. So yes. it's so important. Yeah. So where can people work with you? Um, I am set up through Instagram right now. Um, it's at Ruby Real 33. Um, I'm in the process of building my website and all of that fun stuff. But for now, it's all through Instagram. It's all linked up. Yeah, you can find me there. Right. Beautiful work. Thank you so thank much you. for yeah, everything that you're doing you for the community. Yep. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.